Jelly on the plate, jelly on the plate. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble, jelly on the plate. Jones? Oh, Jones. I, uh, I was, uh, oh, Jones. <laughs> I was, uh, uh, well, uh, thought perhaps you might feel a little lonely. I was wondering if you'd like to come down and watch the television. Oh, well, I don't know, really. Uh, 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 David Attenborough's on at the moment. I know you've always had a weakness for him. Oh, yes, I have. It's those lovely dimples of his that do something to me when he smiles. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Mind you, his dimples aren't very prominent at the moment. He's standing on a pile of bat droppings. <laughs> yes. yes, I don't know why he does it. He's standing in this cave, his eyes are watering, bats swooping all around him, nothing on his head, and he's talking about the joys of nature. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I do think he's incredibly brave. There aren't many men who'd go through the jungle with their socks rolled down. <laughs> yes, yes, perfectly true, Miss Jones, yes. Mind you, his legs are surprisingly pale under the circumstances, aren't they? Yes, of course, that's the beauty of uh, colour television. Yes, it opens up new dimensions. That's what I'm sure it does. Yes, right. Well, uh, uh, you'll come down there, Miss Jones. I've done a few potted meat sandwiches. Well, it's very kind of you, Mr Rigsby, but I must do some exercises. Exercises, Miss Jones? Yes, I've decided to improve my figure. Oh, Miss, you couldn't possibly improve. You've got an exquisite figure, Miss Jones. Well, some people wouldn't agree with you, Mr Rigsby. What? what? Who's, been, who's been saying otherwise? Who's been putting that about? You tell me his name. I'll soon sort him out, Miss Jones. Oh, no, no, that won't be necessary. But certain things have happened. I've been forced to take a long, hard look at myself. I took an inventory of my body, Mr. Rigsby, and I was shocked. Well, there was nothing missing, was there? <laughs> my whole body was in a state of muscular tension. That's why I've been getting these recurring headaches. Well, but, but I thought you were taking the tablets for that, Miss Jones. That's not the answer, Mr. Rigsby. They can be dangerous. Look what happened last night. I awoke, took a tablet. I thought at the time it seemed rather large. It was only when it got wedged in my throat that I realised I should have dissolved it in water. Oh, what on earth did you do, Miss Jones? I lay there and fizzed for three hours. <laughs> Still, it gave me time to think. I'd been letting myself go, Mr. Rigsby. I'd been neglecting my body. So I decided to do a few gentle exercises. Philip suggested some. Uh, oh, did he? Oh, gotta be very careful of how you, you do yourself a serious injury like that. I must say, Miss Jones, I don't uh, much care for this fetish for physical fitness that's going on around here at the moment. You don't need to do exercises, Mitchell. I never do exercises. Look at me. <laughs> yes, well... Pardon? If you don't mind me saying so, Mr Rigsby, I think you could do with a little exercise. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I'm in superb condition. What about your back? There's nothing wrong with my back. Then why did those two men have to carry you home from the supermarket? Ah, no, that was an isolated incident. Could have happened to anyone. No, I just went down a shade too quickly for some dried peas and just locked. <laughs> you ought to be careful, Mr Rigsby. A man of your age. A man of my age? I'm in my prime, Mr Jones. I've heard you on the stairs. The slightest exertion and you're wheezing and coughing. Wheezing? Oh, now, just a minute. Now, wait a minute, Miss Jones. Now, just you stand back a moment. What are you going to do, Mr Rigsby? Oh, I'm going to show you what clean living and a balanced diet can do. I'm going to raise this chair aloft by one leg. Oh, eh. You ought to be careful, Mr. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Miss Jones. I used to do this 20 years ago. I can still do it today. Ah, there, there we go. <laughs> 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 oh, How about that, eh? <coughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> nothing to it. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to work. Of course it will, but you've got to keep it up. I'm shattered. You're putting far too much effort into it. Try and relax. How can I relax? My veins are standing out all over my body. <laughs> There's a giant inside you trying to get out. Well, why didn't he help me with these weights, then? <laughs> There's a giant inside all of us. I bet mine will have varicose veins. <laughs> Do you really think I look like that? You will if you work hard. Haven't you noticed any difference? I think my arms are getting longer. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want my hands brushing the ground as I walk along. I think your deltoids are getting larger. Dear. I bet I think you might be right. Hey, that should pull the birds. <laughs> Can't wait to get on that beach in the summer. I'll be lounging there in my striped shorts. Birds with bikinis will be rubbing amber solaire all over me. Squeals of delight when I get to my deltoids. <laughs> it means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah, well, of course it does. Well, it's all right for you, but I was a delicate child. While you were out in the bush, having adventures and living off wild berries, I was having vapour rubs. <laughs> well, that's going to change. <laughs> oh, Rigsby will get a surprise. Poof, just you let him try start pushing me around. Especially if he tries a handshake. <laughs> you mean when he tries to crush your fingers? 
Yeah, why does he do that? He relates it to his virility. That's why he looks upon us as a challenge. That's why he's always trying to prove he's fitter and stronger than we are. He's got a bad back. I know, but he won't admit it. Yeah. Let's have a knee bandage to get up the stairs. <laughs> it's a physical wreck. I feel sorry for him, poor old sod. Oh, oh Rigsby. Uh, oh, my God, it's strang the terrible. <laughs> It's all right, Vienna, don't be disturbed. Don't be alarmed by all that rippling muscle. I'm sure the gentleman means us no harm. What do you think you're doing? I'm developing my body, Rigsby. Developing the only thing you're going to develop is hernia. <laughs> you're wasting your time, you know, it won't work. Why not? Because you don't keep it up, you never do. Now you get tired brushing your hair. And what's going to happen? All that muscle turns to fat, eh? You're going to look like someone's been left out of the fridge all night. Ah, well, that's where you're wrong, Rigsby, you see, because I am going to keep it up. And you'll get a surprise. Huh? When I disrobe on the beach this summer, there's going to be a buzz of excitement. And do you know why? Yeah, you've forgotten your trunks. <laughs> no, I shall have a perfectly developed body. Perfectly developed. You look like a freak. No, you weren't meant to look like that. You were meant to be puny. <laughs> and I don't understand. I can't stand all this preoccupation with the body. <laughs> it's not natural. There is nothing wrong with exercise, Rigsby. You want to try it sometime. Look, look, if he wants to do some exercise, why doesn't he go out and kick a ball around? I don't like football. You don't like football? Our national sport? My God. When I was your age, I was out every night playing football. Good at it, were you? Good. It was brilliant. <laughs> if it hadn't been for the war, phew, who knows? Might have been another Tommy Lawton. Who's Tommy Lawton? <laughs> Who's Tommy Lawton? Only the finest centre forward that ever breathed, that's all. Well, you can't compare him with players today. You can't compare him with them. I could have made mincemeat out of that lot today. Have you seen him? Friends around the field like a bunch of male models. Kissing and cuddling. <laughs> God. Listen, in my day when you scored a goal, all you got was a brisk handshake. Now you get covered in love bites. <laughs> ah, I tell you something, they used to tackle hard then, you know, hard but fair. Ah, oh, God, the, the, the full backs used to come at you like butcher's dogs. <laughs> if they caught you right, you know, you could end up at the back of the stand. Aye. It were a man's game in them days. Aye, it certainly was. Aye, it were that, lad. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Are you two trying to be funny? <laughs> no, I envy you, Rigsby. Wish I were good at sport. Well, you see, I was a natural. It's a pity we can't put the clock back, Rigsby. See how good you really were before you began to slow down. What do you mean I haven't slowed down? I'm 100% fit. And I don't need to develop my body either. Well, at least I don't need a knee bandage in a truss to get across the road. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Well, my body's just as good as yours. Oh, don't, don't be ridiculous. Oh, fair, why don't you face it? I just happen to be very well endowed, that's all. <laughs> Nature has showered her blessings on me. I mean, I've never had much money, but I've always had my health and strength. What about your bad back? Look, I haven't got a bad back. I'm as fit as a fiddle. Listen, why do you think Miss Jones is attracted to me? I think she sensed the latent power, the almost feline grace. Feline grace? Yeah. He means like Vienna. Y yeah, so what's wrong with Vienna? Eh? Well, look at him, Rigsby. Huh? He's not very agile, is he? Oh, 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 yeah, just because he doesn't bother much nowadays, don't you worry, mate. He hasn't lost his reflexes any more than I have lost. <laughs> Reflexes. Yeah, all right, just, just a minute. All right, right. Now, look, just here. I'll just show you something. Come on, gather around. Now, look, look. I'm going to hold this cat four feet from the ground, right? Face upwards, right? Now, observe his relaxed manner. Now, if I let him go, what do you think will happen? He'll go through the floorboards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't. He'll land on his feet, and do you know why? Because he's got perfect reflexes. It's a scientific fact. Right? Are you, are you ready? No, no, you have to watch very carefully because it'll be all over in a flash. Right, ready, steady. One, two, three. <laughs> he usually lands on his feet. <laughs> Couldn't have been awake. Hello, boys. Mr. Ripsby. Oh, sure. I wonder if one of you strong men could take the lid off this pickle jar for me. Yeah, oh, of course. Certainly, Mr. Thank you, Alan. me. <laughs> Can you manage? You've gone very red. <laughs> what but? Oh. oh, God, isn't it marvellous? All these weeks of training, you can't get the lid off a pickle jar. Come on, give it here. Oh, God. It's all a question of pressure, Miss Jones. Oh. <laughs> You're right, Rixby. Hang on. <coughs> No, you won't budge that, Miss Jones. I'm afraid it's got a cross thread. May I try? No, you won't move that. We need a vice. <laughs> Here we are, Ruth. I, uh, I must have loosened it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realise you were so strong. Come downstairs. You can be the first to indulge. <laughs> 
here. He didn't see you, did he? No, oh, why? It's important. Well, of course it's important. Come on, better get started. Put it down there. Right. I'm glad you decided to get fit, Rigsby. Look, I'm not getting fit. I am fit. I'm just putting a fine edge on it, that's all. Right. Now then, the, uh, the weights. That's the one, is it? See you. Just a question of up and down a few years, yeah. That's all, that's a build up to that. Yes, what's this, the old, uh, old chest expanders, yeah. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a knack with these, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, what's this? Oh, I see. Yeah. Why did you decide to do it? Well, well, because of him, of course. Didn't you see the look of superiority on his face when he got the lid off that pickle jar? My God, it was a definite setback for the white races, that was. Not only that, didn't you see Miss Jones? She was very impressed. He's going to be getting ideas in that direction. Certainly you don't want Miss Jones. He's got ten wives already. Yes, but they're black, aren't they? Miss Jones is white. She could be very useful to him. How? Well, as a marker. <laughs> I mean, he, he, could, he could give her a lot of prestige out there, you know. Help them with the diplomatic exchanges, you know. Show them how to fold their serviettes. <laughs> Be serious, Rigsby. It won't happen. You're dead right. It, God, it takes it out of you, this, isn't it? <laughs> You're dead right it won't happen, mate, because I'm going to make sure it doesn't. I've told you before, anybody comes between me and Miss Jones, they better watch out. And he better look out now and get him back in shape again. Just do a few, uh, few press-ups. <laughs> One. <laughs> One and a half. Shut up. <laughs> Two. It's easier than the thought. They said I didn't think I'd be able to do more than that. About, about six or so. <laughs> What's Rigsby doing? He was doing press ups. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that, Rigsby. Not your Rigs. Think of your heart. There's nothing wrong with my heart. Just let go of me, will you? What, what do you want, anyway? I, anyway. I wondered if you were uh, watching the cricket. The West Indies are playing. It may have escaped your attention, but I'm the proud owner of a colour television. I'm not watching something that looks the same in black and white. <laughs> That's not the reason. You just don't like to see him win. Look, I don't mind seeing them win. We can, we can still lose gracefully in this country. We can still face defeat with a smile, mate. Look, what happened when Leeds lost to Bayern Munich? Eh? Your smile slipped a bit then. You threw a bottle at the telly. <laughs> well, that was different, wasn't it? I and mean, we, were, we were robbed. Definitely robbed at the last gasp. And just after our valiant hearted lads had run themselves into the ground. My God, did you see their faces? They were drained. I haven't seen expressions like that since Dunkirk. <laughs> and what, what about those Germans, eh? My God, you could see all that old Teutonic arrogance coming back again, couldn't you? Oh, God, when they put that second goal in, I thought they were going to break into the goose step. <laughs> all right, Rigsby, if you're so sporting, why don't you watch Muhammad Ali? I'll tell you why, because he can't box. <laughs> then how did he become world champion? He talks him to death. <laughs> yeah, what he does, he gets him in a clinch and then engages in some clever bit of witty repartee, and while they're trying to think of an answer, he clouts him around the back of the ear. <laughs> wouldn't work with me, mate. Oh, don't tell me. You were a boxer as well. I was brilliant. <laughs> if it hadn't been for the war... Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Are you calling me a liar? Well, you don't look like a boxer, Rigsby. No, no, of course I don't. Okay, but yes, we're the ones you've got to watch. The best ones never do look like boxers. You, no need to worry about the ones with the broken noses and the cauliflower ears. <laughs> but when you come across someone like me, someone who still has his good looks, who still retains what you might call the almost classic profile, <laughs> then you've got to watch out. It's amazing. You're good at everything. Oh, 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 oh. Just, 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 don't you move from that spot. I'm going to show you something, mate. Just a minute now. What, uh, what exactly do you think these are, eh? Huh? Huh? These went to stop me biting my nails, you know. <laughs> these have seen me through many a nasty bout. One punch from these, you go down like a roller lino. <laughs> don't do that, Rigsby. What? A few rape you like straight lefts and the old one, too. <laughs> oh, God. I wouldn't know what I did you. You don't have to prove anything to me, Rigsby. Look, I, I, I'll tell you this. I just wish we had another pair of gloves. I'd prove something. Well, I can get a pair of gloves. Can you? Right, you get them. Go on, get them. I'll show you if I'm past it or not. All right, Rigsby. All right. I'll see if I can get you them. You see if you can get them. Right, you do that. Bring them down tonight. <laughs> hey, that showed it, mate. <laughs> See how pale he went? <laughs> well, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Are you sure you're doing the right thing? What is it? He won't lay a glove on me. It's all a question of footwork, you see. I've never lost it. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> I'll float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. 
Yeah, floating like a bee and stinging like a butterfly at the moment. I'm not punching me weight now, am I? Yeah, but what if he punches his weight? Look, look, it doesn't matter, you see, because I can ride a punch. I can move away. Look, come in. I want to show you. Come over here. Come. Now, I want to show you. So put these, uh, put these gloves on. Now, I want you to punch me, right? Huh? Oh, I'd rather not. No, come on, come on. I want you to hit me. It's on the chin. I know. Hard as you like. Come on. I don't want to. What? Oh, you can't work up any aggression. I'm too likeable. Well, look, try and imagine... <laughs> Try and imagine I'm an obnoxious, nasty, nasty piece of work. I know it's difficult, but try. Go on. Well, no, it's not that, Rigsby. Oh, what is it, then? You might hit me back. Oh. <laughs> of course I won't hit you. I haven't got any gloves on. No, you see, you're going to try and surprise me, but I'll surprise you by the speed... <laughs> Oh, well, just as well. Better get the furniture back then, eh? No, 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 no. He's uh, getting ready, Rigsby. You'd better get changed. Oh, is he? I suppose he's get getting a bit nervous, is he? Starting to sweat, showing signs of strain. <laughs> no. Said he's looking forward to having the gloves back on again. Yeah, well, uh, again? What do you mean, again? <laughs> I mean, he's boxed before. Yeah, apparently he did quite a lot in Africa. He was champion of his region. <laughs> champion? Oh, my God! Look, I didn't know. I thought you said he was a novice. Champion of his region. Oh, he murder me. Looks like you've got the experience. Oh, shut up, will you? <laughs> He's planned this, hasn't he? He's planned this. He's going to duff me up. Oh, you'll be all right, Rigsby. I'm going to be referee. First sign of any blood, I'll stop the fight. Oh, give me that. First sign of any blood and you'll faint. <laughs> hey, mind you, if you're a referee, you could always disqualify him. What for? Well, for, for, for a low punch. Well, suppose you don't punch low. I could always jump in the air. Eh? <laughs> Well, if you want to call it off, I'll go and talk to him. Look, 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 how can I possibly call it off? What if Miss Jones finds out? She might give me the white feather. What are you going to do? I don't know. I shall have to box clever, shan't I? I have, uh, have to put the frighteners on him. Eh? Well, how are you going to do that? Yeah, you know what they say. If you can't fight, where'd it be get? <laughs> now then, sunshine, I will... <laughs> You're getting ready then? Yes. <laughs> Funny old world, eh, Philip? I mean, here we are, two grown men getting ready to knock seven bells out of each other, eh? And we call ourselves civilised, eh? But funny world, eh, Philip? I mean, you know, here you are, you're, you're black and I'm white, and. and uh, I mean, if, if, we, if we can't get along together, I mean, what chance has the world got, eh? eh? See what I mean, eh, uh, Phil? You want to call it off, Rigsby? Call it off? Who said anything about calling off? I was just thinking out aloud, that was all. I thought you seemed nervous. Me? No, I'm not nervous, no. <laughs> no, the only thing I'm worried about is in case I lose my temper, you know. <laughs> because that's, uh, that's why to give up boxing, you know. I very nearly killed this bloke once, you know. I mean, once the bell goes, the red mist comes up, I get this singing in the ears, and when it clears, there's someone stretched out on the canvas. Is it you, Rigsby? Oh, very funny. <laughs> well, you've had your chance, mate. Just don't say it. I didn't say I didn't warn you, that's all. <laughs> oh, Miss Jess. Oh, Miss Jess. Jess. <laughs> it's a side of you have not seen before. <laughs> uh, Miss Jones, I, uh, I don't quite know how to tell you this, Miss Jones. In fact, I, I really don't know how to tell a woman of your sensitivity and refinement, but uh, there's going to be a fight. A fight? Yes, downstairs, Miss Jones. Uh, me and Philip, we're having the gloves on. I'm afraid it's going to be a fight to the finish and the blood's going to flow, so I thought it only fair to let you know. Oh, thank you, Mr. Rixby. I'll come down. I love a good fight. Uh, no, I, I, just, I don't think you quite understand, Miss Jones. It's, it's over you, you say. Over me? Yes. How exciting. Yes, but you see, somebody may get hurt, uh, possibly even maimed for life. Now, I know you want peace in the world and you're against the Polaris missile and all that rubber, uh, sort of thing. So, in the circumstances, I'm, I'm quite prepared to call it off. It'll be a disappointment, of no! course. I wouldn't but dream of it. You what? It's a wonderful compliment, Mr. Rigsby, to have two men fight over you. And just to show you how much I appreciate it, I shall go out tonight with the winner. What do you think of that? <laughs> I shall look forward to it, Miss Jess. Where's Rigsby? 
Right, it's probably in there, putting on his knee bandage or tightening his truss. I'll go and get him. Philip! But what are you doing here? I didn't know you could be so jealous. I'm so excited. Fancy wanting to fight over me. Is that what Rigsby told you? Yes, and I told him that I'd go out with the winner. Oh. <laughs> well, how do you know I'll win? Of course you'll win. All you've got to do is soften him up inside. He can't last. He lives on suet puddings. I didn't know you knew anything about boxing. What? I love Henry Cooper. That's what you want to do. Give him Henry's hammer. The old left hook. <laughs> we could go to the Grange no, afterwards. No, I mean, I mightn't win. Of course you'll win. <laughs> Clean fight, no biting, no scratching, no kicking, no gouging, no punching with the inside of the glove, and no punching on the brain. My God, you're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> Come out fighting. Now, let's, just, just, just a minute, just, just hang on a minute. Look, before we go any further, you just make a note of where my belt is, all right? Anything below that round here, and he's disqualified, right? <laughs> Take Ruth out. I'm not starting that again. Yeah, but taking a dive, we'll never hear the last of it. Rigsby will never let us forget. Here he comes now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I told you could do it. Haven't lost the old magic. Yes, the old straight left. Hope oh, it didn't hurt you, Philip. No, you didn't hurt. No, no. You see, once I get going, I don't know my own strength. <laughs> yes, he yeah. took a dive. Took it, what he took, took a dive. I've beat him fair and square. He met me at my peak of condition. Uh, Miss Jones and I are going out tonight to the Grange. I feel I could accomplish anything tonight. How about this then? Hey, look at that. Hey? Very good, Rick. Yeah. That's great, Rick. Uh, nothing to it. <laughs> What's the matter, Rick? Me back, it's locked. Are you ready, Mr. Rigsby? Yeah, I'm ready. What's the matter? Are you looking for something? Yeah. No, no, his back's locked. He can't straighten up. It's all right, Miss Jones. It'll soon pass. Shall we go? Mr. Bixby, I can't go out with you like this. It's like walking about with a chimpanzee. No. Come on, Miss Philip. Jones. You'll have to come with me. But I'm lost. I've booked a taxi. No hurry, we can get the van. Come Miss on. Miss Jones, what? Oh, my. What am I going to do? There's only one thing you can do, Rigsby. What? Can you write tandem? <laughs> 